Welcome to the third part, so let's start by dragging down a map, then right-click to crop to fit. Further click, then go up to apply keyframe to transform and move the playhead to one second. Again, go up to apply keyframe to transform, scale up to 145, so I type minus 100 in position X and 116 in position Y to slide right as it zoom in. Now right-click to copy and paste above, then split at the second keyframe point, then delete the first split as shown. Further click, then go to AI Tools, then apply Smart Cutout as shown. Now draw across the focus map. Once selected, you can adjust the edge thickness as shown, then click OK. I further hide and unhide track one to check out the cutout map. Now click, then go up to Color and choose Curve. To get a pinkish outlook, first click Blue, then drag back, and also click Red, then drag back as shown. Now go to Mask to select Circular Mask, then adjust the mask around the map on the screen. Or I went to position X and Y to type 100.35 and minus 157 as shown. I also blur the strength by typing 12, as shown. So I scrolled up to add keyframe point to transform, then go to scale to type 0, and ensure the mask is centered on the map. Then move the playhead to 3 seconds, as shown. Go ahead and add a keyframe, then gradually increase the scale until it covers the entire map as displayed, and preview the result. Finally, move the playhead one frame forward from the second keyframe, then split the clip. Next, move the playhead six frames forward and split again. Go to the Effects section, search for the flashback effect, and apply it as demonstrated. Click on the split part, then go to the Effects section to reduce the frequency to 30 and preview the changes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. The template link is also in the description. Have a wonderful day.